Hey everybody, let's go over some of the long answer questions here. This is, I'm going to go over question number one, um, long answer from exam one. And in this question, in this test, I'm, or in this video, I'm going to show you the details of how to solve this. Now this is a method of initial rate question for this um, made up fictitious reaction, 2A plus 2B. Okay, and it says uh, we're obtained, we have three experiments. Okay, so now in this case it says what is the rate equation? So to determine the rate equation, we want to go R equals K, and then we're going to do A raised to some power, M, B raised to some other power, N. And in order to do that, we're going to compare reactions. Okay, so for this one, we're going to compare reactions 2 and 3, or yeah, reactions two and three, and we're going to put reaction. This will this will um, let us find what B is. What sorry, not what B is, but what N is for B, the order of B. And we're going to do this looking at the um, looking at the rate. So we're going to do R uh, two over R three equals, and now K cancels. Okay, because those are the same, rate constant's the same no matter what, uh, times the concentration of A raised to the M power, concentration of A raised to the M power. Those are the same too, because if we look, that's why we picked reactions um, uh, 2 and 3, and so then it's just going to be B raised to the um, N power. So now this is where we can do some mental math. I'm going to get rid of this guy here. Okay. And so, and I'm going to do some math. R2 over R3. Okay, and that's 28 times 10 to the negative 4. What I did is I was able to move the decimal point over, but then by doing that I had to lower the power. So that's 28 over 7 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, and that's going to equal, let's see, 6.6 uh, .6 over 0.15 raised to the n. So this is 4 equals 4 to the n, so that means that n must equal 1. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here. For a, we're going to fit, pick the um, experiments where uh, the concentration of B is held constant, and so that's going to be uh, here. Let me extend the page, and we will um, do some of this work down here. I'll do it in a different color just to make sure that uh, we don't get confused. And so, so we're going to do R, and I always try to put the bigger one on top. So it's R1 over R3 equals K, and again, those K's cancel out, and then the concentration of A at M, the concentration of A at M. Now those are um, the same, are different here, so that's going to be good. But now B raised to the first, B raised to the first. Hey, Mr. Walsh, how did I know it was the first? Because we just figured that out over here, so why not put it in? But those are still going to cancel out. So this is... 6.3 times 10 to the minus 3, or it's actually 6. Point, it's actually 63 times 10 to the minus 4. I did the same trick as I did in the previous problem. Okay, so 63 over um, 7 times 10 to the minus 4. And now if we look, we have um, 0. 0.6 over 0. 0.2 raised to the m power. So this is going to now give us 9 equals 3 to the m. And so m equals 2. So the rate const the rate law for this is going to be r equals k a squared b. Okay, and then part B is determine the numerical value of the rate constant and what are its units. Well, this, for part B, what we have to do, and I'll do this in a, in a third color here. For part B, what we have to do is we just have to plug our value in for our, plug our values in for the rate, uh, the rate law, 
R equals K, concentration of A squared B. And so rate, doesn't matter which experiment we pick. We can pick one, two, experiment one, two, or three. Um, I'm going to pick one just because that's the first one that's there. So it's going to be 6.3 times 10 to the minus 3 equals K. We don't know what K is. And then A is, what's A? 0.6 squared. And then B, I guess, is 0.15. Okay, 0.15 to the first, and so now we do some math. So it's, um, let's see, 6.3 uh, times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 0.6 squared. Okay, that gives me that. And then divided by 0.15. And so we get an answer where we get K equals 0 0.116 repeating. And then we figure out the units. So what are the time units? Okay, the time units are in minutes. So let's make sure that we get this right. Okay, so to figure out the units, we get molar per minute equals k k isn't going to change here folks right so that so we're going to do that and then this is molar squared times molar to the first and so we do that that's let me do that so that way i know it's minutes so now this is equal to k which we're trying to solve for okay and then that's molar cubed divide both sides by molar cubed and so that's that and then two so this is going to be one over molar squared per minute okay and if you're really fancy you can do this you can now plug in remember molar is moles per liter so that could be liters squared over moles squared minute. Okay, so that's how to do long answer question number one from the exam. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the answers to the test.